Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage. Today I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about how I keep the windshield on my motorcycle cleaned and uh, maintained. Now I'm on a 2018 Honda Goldwing with an F4 Customs windshield, but the techniques I'm going to show you today would really work with any acrylic, Luxan, uh, polycarbonate type windshield. So the F4 Customs windshield has some special properties that allow you to clean it with paper towels and Windex. Uh, however, your typical motorcycle windshield, not a good idea to do that. It could damage it. Uh, paper towels are actually made originally from wood. So these fibers, even though they're very small, can actually damage these delicate plastics and uh, polycarbonates that are used to make your motorcycle windshield. So I would recommend that you avoid using paper towels. Again, if you have an F4 Customs uh, windshield, they have a proprietary coating that will allow you to use paper towels and even window cleaners. I would not recommend using any product, any uh, window cleaner with vinegar, alcohol, anything like that on a windshield. It's really unnecessary and it could damage the plastics on your windshield. The first thing I'm going to do on this particular motorcycle before I start cleaning this windshield is I'm going to raise it to its fullest height and that's going to make it easier to clean the entire windshield. Let's turn the bike on. Now what I'm going to use today to clean this windshield is just basically clean water. I'm actually using distilled water. I don't think you have to use distilled water. If you have filtered water, that's better. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. You just want to make sure it's good, clean water. The best thing about this is it's available anywhere. So even if you're at a gas station, uh, I always carry a small, not this size, but I carry a smaller pistol grip sprayer with me when I travel on a road trip and I always keep it filled with water and you can fill them up in a gas station bathroom if necessary. I have never had a windshield that was so dirty uh, that it couldn't be cleaned with just water. Now if you ended up with some tar or something really sticky like from tree sap or something, uh, then you might have to use a, a mild detergent uh, with the water, but uh, that's a pretty extreme case. But even bugs that splatter on the windshield or other uh, mud and things like that will usually come off with just water. So the first thing I'm going to do is pretty simple stuff, really. I'm just going to spray this real liberally. I want to spray as much water as I can because I want to remove surface dust as much as I can on the surface just by spraying it with water. So these are the two cloths that I use for cleaning my windshield. One of them uh, you can get on Amazon. I think you can get them both on Amazon. This one comes from the Chemical Guys, and I've actually started using this more recently, and I really, really like it. It's a waffle design. It's very, very soft. It's made for soft plastics. In fact, that's the one I'm going to use today. This is another one uh, that I that I also use. I keep these on the bike when I travel and they work well too. I'll put links to both of these in the description of this video if you're interested and uh, of course you can order those on Amazon. So the first thing I want to do is I want to spray this windshield as much as possible. I want to get as much of the dust and the surface dirt and dust off as I can before I start using the microfiber. The reason is pretty simple. When you drag this cloth over those plastics, um, you can leave micro scratches in your windshield. Just the surface dust alone can scratch the plastic. Think of it like sandpaper. I mean, you're basically dragging dirt and dust across that clear plastic. So you want to get as much of that off as possible before you begin cleaning it off and drying it. So I'm going to continue with this spray bottle. Now, of course, if you have a hose with water uh, or a mild detergent, that's fine too. The key is to soak it as good as you can before you start wiping it down. 
Okay, that should be good there. The next thing I do is I like to go in a vertical direction. I don't want to go across. If I were going to get any micro scratches at all, I'd much rather them, th them be vertical than horizontal. That's just me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rag, I'm, it's folded up three times, and I'm going to go very lightly, just the weight of the rag. I just want to drag that water off of the windshield. And it will absorb into this microfiber towel. So I'm just being very slow to get that initial water off of there. I'm not bearing down at all. I'm just using basically the weight of the rag. Now I can flip the rag over to a clean part of the, and you always want to make sure you're using a brand new, freshly washed, clean microfiber. You don't want to grab a dirty one because anything that's on that microfiber is going to contact that plastic and could potentially scratch it. So you always want to make sure you're using a clean towel. Make sure you're using the correct microfiber. Like I said, these are the ones I like. If you buy microfiber cloths at Costco, those yellow ones are really great for drying off your motorcycle and other parts. But things can stick to those little fibers very easily and uh, they can scratch your windshield. So use the correct one. Now I can come back and begin sort of polishing. I, I'm applying a little bit more weight and I can start cleaning off that windshield. And the back of the windshield is exactly the same as the front. So you do the same technique on the rear or the, or the back side of the windshield. This technique of how I clean is also, also applies to your clear dash lens. If you have a gold wing like I do, you have this fairly large clear dash. Same technique applies. It's even more uh, susceptible to scratching than the windshield. So you want to make sure you soak it really, really well before you begin the drying process. I would not use a polish. A polish is an abrasive and it can scratch the windshield. It can, if there is any kind of a coating on your windshield, a polish could damage that coating or remove the coating altogether. So I would, I would be hesitant to use a polish. Now something like Plexus or Lemon Pledge, even though they may refer to it as a polish, uh, it, it's not an abrasive type of polish. So Plexus, uh, it's almost like a silicone spray of sorts. It will give it a little bit of water shedding ability. It's a good product. Uh, it's a little expensive. And that's why some people actually use Lemon Pledge because they get similar results. You also have the Honda All-Purpose Cleaner uh, that comes in the aerosol can. Another good product to use on plastic, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that uh, to remove dust and dirt. I would go ahead and use straight water first, rinse off the windshield first or the, the clear plastic first. Then if you want to go back with the Honda polish, that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to clean the clear dash lens on this 2018 Goldwing. It does have some, it may be hard to see now, but it does have some dirt, some mud spots and and uh, dust on it, surface dust. After it rained the other day, you can even see some of it here on the center panel. Now, what I'm going to do on this particular application is I'm going to use a little bit of uh, detergent in water, maybe one part detergent to 10 parts water. Very, very, very mild, soapy solution. And I'm going to use that just so that it can kind of loosen some of that uh, material that's on this dash lens. And I don't need to let it dwell a long time. I'm just going to spray it on there and let it kind of wash everything off and then I'm going to come back with my distilled water and just give it a good rinse. I don't want to rub it. I don't want to uh, do anything that could potentially scratch or cause those dust particles to scratch this uh, clear lens because it is a very, very soft plastic. It does not have a protective coating that I'm aware of. It may have a UV coating on it from Honda. They don't really say. They don't tell us. 
So I don't recommend using a polish on it because you wouldn't want to remove whatever coating they might have. Now I'm going to use my microfiber. Very, again, very, very lightly. I'm just going to let it drag across that lens and get some of that uh, surface water off. I'm not rubbing it. I'm not putting, applying any pressure. I just need to get the water spots off of, off of that lens. And you can use this same technique on your center console because this piano black plastic also can scratch very easily. So you can use the same technique to clean your center panel switch as you do this lens. And you will get some hairline scratches on this lens. It's almost impossible not to. It's such a soft surface. Um, it's just almost impossible not to get some hairline scratches. It's just not a very good quality uh, coated protected plastic. But this is gonna help you keep from any major scratches that will be really, really annoying. I hope that answers some of your questions on how to maintain your windshield. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and that notification bell. Very much appreciated. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.